Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, you can probably already tell from the title, it is going to be a collaboration with Glossy Box and I'm going to be creating a daytime look and then transforming it into a nighttime look. If you are unfamiliar with who or what Glossy Box is, I'll just really quickly tell you, it is a monthly beauty subscription service, so you pay a certain amount each month and you are sent out a box of products and you don't know what the products are and they come in a box, I'll just show you. Like, So I have some products in here, that's why it's making noise. But yeah, so you get it sent out to you each month and it has a mixture of products in it and some of them are full size, some of them are samples and it's just a really good way for anyone who's into beauty to be introduced to new brands and try new products, especially if you're stuck in a rut using a lot of the same products. I will leave their website down below in the description box so you can check it out and kind of get more information on them as well. But anyway, the video is going to be a mixture of me using some of my own products and some of the products that I have gotten in previous glossy boxes. So if you are interested in learning how I create a daytime look and then transform it into a nighttime look, then just keep on watching. I am so like wound up right now because I took the Protein World, what are they called? Slender Blend capsules. I think they have loads of caffeine in them and I don't usually drink coffee so I'm like, ah! so bear with me. <laughs> Okay, just to run through the products that I already have on my face, which is basically just my face and face makeup. <laughs> so I have the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I use that kind of as moisturizer slash primer. And on top of that, I use the, I think it's called a Mite Makeup Diamond Heart Face Primer Illuminating Primer. You can kind of see, you probably can't because of the sun or because of the light, I should say, there's no sun in Ireland. Anyway. So I use this, I apply both of them with my hands just all over my face. So for foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And to apply the foundation, I use my AYU foundation brush. This is just the small handle version of it. Then for concealer, I use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in light warm. And to set the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, I use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in light. And to set the rest of my face, I use my Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation in Golden Medium. To set my concealer with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder, I use this brush from Blank Canvas, and this is the F40 brush. Then to apply my powder on my face, I use the Zoeva 106 powder brush. So moving on to contour and bronzer, I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark Deep. So it's pretty similar to the Give Me Sun and I'm using this brush here to apply it. I'm not sure where this is from because the name is rubbed off, so it's rather blank canvas or crown brush, I think. Then moving on to blush, I'm gonna use another Glossy Box product. I actually don't think I mentioned earlier that the illuminating primer that I used is a Glossy Box product. So for blush, I'm using the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Cream Blush. This is actually a cheek and lip stain, but I'm just using it for blush today. And this is in the shade Coral, so it looks like this. And this actually goes on top of powder really well. Usually cream products don't work well on top of powder products, but I've used this a few times and it's okay to apply after your powder. To apply that, I'm just gonna use my AYU angled brush here. This is again the short handled version of it. Moving on to highlighter. The highlighter I'm using is actually from Collection. This again is another Glossy Box product and this is the Speedy Highlighter. What shade is this? In the shade Pearl Sheen. So it looks like this. I think this is basically just a G4. I think it's the Clinique chubby kind of highlighters. So this is what it looks like and I'm just going to use my fingers to apply this because it's a cream product and I want to work it into my skin. Then on top of the cream highlighter I'm going to apply a powder highlighter and the one I'm using is from the MUA eyeshadow palette and it's this one here. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting brush. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to go into the same eyeshadow palette, which is the MUA one, and I'm taking a mixture of this colour here and this one here, which are two matte brown shades, and I'm using my Anastasia double-ended eyebrow brush. So for any of the gapped areas in my eyebrows that the powder doesn't really cover, I'm going to go in with the Studio 10 Eyebrow Pencil and I'm just going to use this with the tail end of this brow and through any gaps in my eyebrows. And in case I didn't mention earlier, this product here and this eyebrow pencil are both Glossy Rock products. To set my eyebrows and give them a little bit more volume, I'm going to go in with the Model Co, what's this called, More Brows, which is basically the exact same as the Benefit Gimme Brow. And again, this is another Glossy Box product and I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows really quickly. Moving on to eyes, again, I'm going to go back into the MUA eyeshadow palette. And because I'm starting off the day look, I'm going to use a light shadow first, which is this one here. And this is the same one that I used through the brows. I mixed these two for the brows, but I'm just going to use this one for the eyes. And to apply it, I'm going to use my Zoeva 231 brush. So I use the Zoeva brush to apply the colour first, and I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow brush which is just the brush that you get with the eyeshadow palettes and I'm using the fluffy end here just to blend out the eyeshadow colour. After my eyeshadow I'm going to go in with a brown pencil liner. This one is from Nick Knack New York and it is the 24 hour waterproof eyeliner in the shade dark brown and it looks like this and I'm going to apply this in my upper waterline, so your tight line, and then just along my eyelashes here, and I'm gonna blend it out with a pencil brush, like so. This one, again, I think is from AYU. And this is another Glossy Box product. Next, I'm gonna go in with mascara, and the mascara that I always use is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So now that I'm finished the eyes, I'm gonna move on to lips. And for lip liner, I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Cultured. And for lipstick, I'm going to use another Glossy Box product, which is the Revlon Colorstay, is it? No, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Nude Attitude, and I love this product. I actually had this already, um, and it's kind of like a dupe for MAC Myth or any kind of like light pinky nude lipstick like that. I love it, and it's actually more of a matte finish. It's not really glossy, so one of my faves. And to set my face, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray and a little bit of... No, I'm not. I'm just going to use the MAC Fix Plus. <laughs> and this is the finished day look. So it's really easy to achieve, really, really quick as well. I only use one colour all over the eye with a little bit of brown liner. And I love this new lip combo, I swear. I'm like wearing it so much recently and that lipstick is so, so good. So next I'm going to show you how I transform this from a day look like this into a night look and I only use 
a different lipstick, darker colour on the lids and lashes are optional as well. So keep on watching if you want to know how I go to night time. To change this to a night look, I'm just going to use one colour all over the lids, which is from the same MUA palette and it's this colour here. So it's still like a warmy bronze colour, it's just a little bit deeper, so it's going to add a bit more definition to the eyes. And I'm using a Nima brush, I'm not sure the name of this brush, but like always I'll leave everything in the description bar below the video. So I've taken off my nude lipstick and I'm going to go in with a MAC lip liner and this is in the shade Current. So this is a really deep colour, not to everyone's taste but obviously if you want to go for a red lip you can use a different liner instead. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lips as a base for the lipstick. In the little camera there it looks like I have a moustache. To finish off the lip I'm going to go in with my final Glossy Box product which is another Revlon lipstick and this is in the shade Black Cherry and it's a gorgeous really dark dark purple so I'm going to apply that obviously all over my lips. You can leave the makeup like this if you want this lipstick gives a bit of a glossy sheen to the lips and I personally prefer when a dark lip is more of a matte colour. So if you like a glossier lip, you can leave it the way it is. I'm just going to show you how to quickly transform any lipstick into a matte lipstick. So I'm just going to take a loose translucent powder. This one is from Face of Australia. Any loose powder will do, I think. Um, pennies do like really affordable translucent powder as well. And I'm going to pick it up on my finger and just apply it onto the lips on top of the lipstick. And then you are left with a dark matte lipstick. So obviously this is the night out version. You can swap the colours around if you want, if you want to do different dark, different colour dark smoky eye or a red lip or a burgundy lip, whatever you're kind of into, or if you want to stick to the nude lip, obviously that's up to you. But I just thought it would be fun to show you how to quickly transform a simple day makeup into a night out makeup, which is perfect for anyone who's in work, who likes to go out on a Friday night or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and took away some tips from it. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe, I had something on my teeth, <laughs> to my channel. And if you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram, which is at Chloe Boucher, or on Snapchat, which is at Chloe Boucher. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.